So this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, I as well, uh, Pisces Rising Weekly Career and Business Tarot Reading, December 23rd uh, to December 29th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, uh, to shuffle the tarot cards. And meanwhile, if you uh, do want to get in touch with me for a personal reading or you want to check your love and relationship tarot reading for that very same week, uh, you can have a look at the description down below and there you're going to find uh, the links both to my website and as well to um, the other video for you Pisces. So the topic of your career uh, this week is going to be marked by the star card followed by the next one which represents the um, energies that are supporting the topic. We have the Empress. Followed by the third card here, which stands as the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the, the week, business and uh, career-wise, that is going to be the temperance. The fourth card for you, which uh, stands as the gifts and the blessings that, uh, tar <clears throat> that the week, I'm sorry, is going to offer to you, Pisces, career and uh, business-wise, that is going to be the seven of swords. The fifth card here, it is how other people see you, how your co-worker sees you, how your, how your uh, business partner sees you, how your boss, supervisor sees you, etc, etc. That is going to be the King of Cups. The uh, sixth card, it will be what can help your long-term goal, business and uh, career-wise, and that will be the Four of Cups. The seventh card of the reading represents what can, uh, oh my God, that's very strange, uh, what can hurt your long-term uh, career goal. That will be the seven of pentacles. And then uh, the last one stands as the guidance that Taro is offering to you for that week, business and career-wise, that will be the ace of swords. Okay, so uh, business-wise, the week is going to be quite... Um, I would say productive and as well very potent in one sense. That is due to the first couple of card, cards we do have the topic and we do have as well the energies as representatively the star and the empress. So what those two cards are showing us, it is a, a certain clearance that you finally are going to have in regards to a plan that took a long time to develop or in generally a, a goal that took a long time to uh, be developed on your behalf. Now, when we're talking about, talk about those two cards, it doesn't mean that you are going to have a significant, I would say, success or a significant breakthrough throughout this week. But those two cards means that you are getting there and you are on the right track. That is due to the fact that the star card develops very slowly and it is far and it is quite a distant a card of longevity, I would say. So you can expect throughout this week, um, Pisces, that a certain circumstances or certain openings are what you are going to have to take advantage of, which will allow you to basically further your goal and to chase your goal career and business wise. Um, Additionally to that, uh, with those two cards, it looks like that you can rely on certain support from people, from co-workers, you know, from your supervisor as well, from your boss, not to mention that as well, you are uh, going to face whatever tasks or whatever challenges are standing in front of you with rather professional calmness, if you will, <clears throat> and instead of freaking out, should the task is going to be rather difficult, uh, it looks like that you're going to approach it in a very mild or mature angle and uh, that way the results are going to follow quickly after. I mean the positive results are going to follow quickly after. Now the next card is going to show us the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. That is the temperance card and the temperance here points that you are to have quite a lot of chores a long way with the, uh, with the openings. And with the temperance, you cannot afford to, um, to neglect those chores. I mean, they need to be attended here a straight away. Uh, temperance also points that you may uh, find it difficult to maintain your professional calmness as well. Uh, what I am saying it is that on the surface, you know, you may look like 
everything is cool, you know, you're calm and it's kind of like you're not freaking out, but from within you may be a, a quadrant of emotions and it needs to stay that way. So basically the challenge for you Pisces career-wise is going to be to a, adopt um, a balanced standpoint, you know, not to overkill it, but as well not to slack about it also. Um, just do what you're supposed to do, what your job or what your tasks uh, tasks demands from you to do. Now, the gifts and the blessings in regards to career for you, Pisces, we do have the Seven of Swords. And in this particular follow-up here, the Seven of Swords points that you're going to get what you want, one way or another, uh, mainly through a, a negotiation. So that is because the gift and the blessing are here throughout the week. Um, allow you to take a solid ground or rather to withstand your positions or in other words to stand for your personal rights and for what you believe in and as well for what you want to also even if that means that you have to storm the situations that you are finding yourself at um, additionally to that the gift and the blessing with the seven of swords it is that you can how can i say it? you can uh, approach a certain aspect of your career or a, uh, a disagreement, let's say, or a certain issue into your career in a much more clever and unpredictable way from your rivals, uh, that your rival, rivals, excuse me, can see it or uh, and they can actually do something to prevent it. But with the Seven of Swords, it is best to stand out tall uh, throughout this week and really raise the question, you know, what is in, what is in it for you, whatever the task that is. And uh, it does look like that you will be able to negotiate even better terms uh, for yourself. Now, the other card here represents how others sees you, how your boss sees you, how your uh, co-worker sees you, how your supervisor sees you. Uh, that is going to be the King of Cups. And uh, only one sentence I can say here, they are seeing you as an exceptional professionalist. That is what the King of Cups plays a, a role as an impression into a career, uh, into career readings. Uh, so you can expect that should there be a rather baffling and major decision that needs to be taken, probably if not that you are going to be entrusted with the call, the very least uh, people who need these people who need to make that decision career wise, let's say for the company, for the business that you're working for and etc, etc, are going to come and are going to ask for your opinion. And your opinion will matter. So also do not neglect the weight of your voice as well uh, when it comes to a career development this, um, this particular week. But the best thing about the King of uh, Wands it is that they are gonna sh uh, people are going to see you as a, someone who uh, engraves into the tasks and into the chores as well, if you will, a, a big emotional devotion also. But simply said, they will see that you do care and yet that you do care a lot how things are developing. So what can help your long-term goal here? We do have a D4 of uh, cups and the next one is the seven of pentacles. And this is why I just, when I turned, um, turned the cards face up, I said strange because they both are speaking for slowing down the pace, but in a very different way. I'm going to talk about these two simultaneously. So the seven of pentacles, which is what can hurt your goal. It is slowing the pace that you are moving forward with. Uh, for a reason being is that you may doubt that it actually works it and that it is actually something that can offer you certain growth moving forward. While with the Four of Cups, the slowing the pace is so one can slow down just enough so can, uh, can take advantage of every mean and every opportunity and as well indulge in every um, benefit that is offered to him throughout this week. So it's more like a not trying to take two steps for a straight of one. But also additionally to that, uh, what can help your long term career go as well is if you have in the back of your head a certain uh, shred of uh, shred of plan how to capitalize on the current positions you are in, 
and with them to propel yourself into a future career development. So what we can say from all these cards before we go to the guidance here, uh, Pisces, it is that this week it is exceptionally important for you to um, give the appropriate attention and appropriate performance, I don't know how to say it the other way around, into the current tasks and especially chores that the business you're working for or the career or, or the company that you're working for demands from you because they are exactly the uh, the milestone or the trampoline which is going to propel you moving forward uh, instead of second guessing yourself is it worth it or not and now at the end of the day we do have the guidance also that is going to be the ace of swords and uh, this card urges you while people are going to see you quite emotionally content in regards to the tasks and in regards to the um, chores that you are tackling with this card urges you to be more logical than emotional when it comes to decision making as well um, with the ace of swords one needs to show readiness to do what what it takes if you will readiness for some a drastic and risky actions it may not come to that but one needs to show this uh this readiness uh also there is a um something that is immersing into your career with the ace of swords as a guidance and it kind of is gonna is gonna leave a clues and you need to pick up those clues and piece it out before anybody else does it probably this is how as well you are going to get a couple of steps ahead of your competition but finally with the ace of swords career wise uh, you have to show the strength of your spirit as well or simply said that you don't give up regardless of you know of what you are facing so it's kind of like laughing in the face of danger so that being said pisces this was your career tarot reading december 23rd to december 29th 2019 hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time until then bye